In this video, I'm going to walk you through the funnels and website AI builder. You can build websites and funnels within seconds, and you can even take inspiration from other websites, from any URL or from any image and tell it, hey, make me a funnel or website that looks like that. You can launch pages up to 10 times faster without having any design skills, any copywriting skills or any website building skills by just letting the AI generate the copy itself the images themselves and even the layout. You can also do real-time tweaks via a chat function without needing to swift through different help docs. It will also help you to auto-generate SEO-friendly titles and meta descriptions so that you can actually rank on Google and other search engines. Let me show you how you can do this. First, let's navigate to sites and then either select funnels or websites at the top. Let's create a website and then here you can click build with AI. Here at the top left corner, we have our AI assistant. Should you lose this AI assistant at any time, you can just click this little magic button at the top and it will pop back up. We have two options right here, the assist and the build option. The assistant mode provides a step-by-step -step wizard right here where you can select your industry, the funnel goal, the audience, the language, the tone and the preferred layout and the AI produces a complete editable draft, including everything, the copy, the images, and even the color schemes. So you can publish your website or funnel within minutes. Then we have the build mode. The build mode gives experienced marketers the total freedom. Type exactly what you want. For example, I want a three page funnel for a coaching business with a before and after gallery and a consultation form. The AI builds the structure, sections and the placeholder content to match your description. Now let's start with the AI assist. Let's create a website for a personal coaching business. Select the coaching niche. What's the goal of the website? Do we want to generate leads, book appointments or sell products? get more course signups, maybe sell memberships, webinars, build an email list, drive traffic to events and registrations, or just simply upsell. Let's say we want to optimize for book appointments. From here, who is our audience? Let's say small businesses. Then right here, you can select, hey, do you want to drive traffic for an appointment for a free consultation, a discount, a free trial, and so on. In this example, we select free consultation. Here on the right-hand side, you can see all the data as well in a chat format that you have already added. Now we can also add here, make it look like this page and place a page that we find very inspirational and looks very good. Then we can hit generate. Now on the left hand side, you can see the AI starts working and starts thinking about the prompt that we've just given it. It has thought for five seconds only. And now here you can see the to-do list it created. It analyzes the website. It's scanning the layout, the sections and the design patterns. It will generate SEO titles and descriptions. It will draft the text for each section in a clear customer focused language. And it will also design visuals and images. Now you can see it is putting everything together. We have reached two out of five steps, three out of five steps. So these are the five to do's up here already four out of five. And here we are, it starts already creating and ta-da, here we go. It has now created all of this, the header, including the entire header from the original page, the cookie banner, even nice. Look at that. Even the color codes, beautiful. Even the logo carousel, call to action to watch the masterclass, testimonials, the freebies, and even the footer. Now let's say you don't like anything from this section. On the right hand side, as per usual, you can also edit without AI. So the footer section, let's say the background is black, but you actually wanted to have it yellow, then you can do that. And everything else too, like the background blur, the width, if you wanted to make no sticky, anything like the whole styles, the margin, the padding, borders, yes or no, edited for visibility, desktop and mobile and so on and so forth. Now you can also keep building. Once you have used the assist, you can keep building with the build section for all of these different areas. Now let's say we are on the footer here, since we have selected it, right? You can see the footer is pre-selected. Down here, you can plan, build, modify anything. Currently the footer section is selected because we have it selected right here. But if you wanted to edit another section, you just scroll through and then make sure you have the green boxes selected since that is a section and it will always show you down here which section is selected. Okay. Here you can, for example, say make the image smaller or change the font color or change even the padding, whatever that is that your heart desires, make sure you select that particular section and then you give the prompt down here. Let's see if it takes this prompt. Let's say change padding to 60 and ta-da, it has changed the padding 
from 120 to 60 as you can see here it said 120 before the thing i actually wanted is to have the padding adjusted at the top here not on the left and on the right that was my mistake so make sure that you always say exactly what you want adjust the padding to 60 px at the top only or something like that right but here it will also give you suggestions on what else you could do change the backgrounds to white or set margins to 20 and so on also if you click on the seo metadata at the top right here you can see it has pulled an image it has created the SEO metadata based on the input we gave before. Hey, our goal is to have a strategy consultation and for who small business owners, cause that's what we've selected in the initial input, right? Under content, it has put the title and the description as well as keywords, the author, interesting, the image, which is that one, what you see at the top and then links and tags as well as the language. Changing the imported content will not affect the original source where you have pulled the information from. Edits you make to an imported layout are independent and will never affect the source. AI also understands multiple different languages and will also allow you to set the tone. Whether you want to sound friendly, professional or humorous, everything is possible. I hope you like this feature and I will see you in the next video.